Kenny. Oh, hello. Why are you watering the grass when you're leaving? Just a habit. I guess you're excited about your trip. Yeah, I'm excited. Your dad asked me to bring his briefcase over. Um, he, he's right inside. Well, I guess I'll go in then. Charles? Hello. Hi, Pam. Darling, you shouldn't be doing that by yourself. Why isn't Kenny helping you? I couldn't stand the sad look at his face any longer. I sent him outside. Is he still upset about leaving? Can't blame him. We stayed put long enough somewhere for him to make friends, and now we're off again. He'll make new friends. Besides, I like the idea of having you to myself for a change. Pamela, I'll never get packed. Honey, remind me never to collect books again. Right. That's enough. I don't think Kenny likes me. <laughs> don't be silly. Really, he's very cold with me. Oh, he's been like that with everyone since his mother died. He'll get used to you. Remember, it took me quite a while. The trouble is, he still thinks of me only as your secretary. Maybe if you told him about us, it would make it easier. Well, I'll tell him when I think the time is right. Before he leaves today? No. That certainly expresses your feelings about me. 
Now, what's that got to do with it? If you really love me, you'd want to tell him about us. But one thing has nothing to do with the other. Look, he was very close to his mother. It's a bit soon to suddenly tell him he's going to have a new one. Well, perhaps you had no intention of marrying me. So why tell him? Do you really believe that? I do. I'll tell him before he leaves, all right? You're not going to be the same without Kenny, is it? I don't know. He hasn't left yet. Ask me tomorrow. You don't like Kenny too much, do you? Sure, I like him. It's just that I can't kid around with him like I can with you. Well, he's upset about leaving. That's no reason to push me off my bike, is it? Oh, come on, Mike. You forced him off the road, and you know it. I did not. You were racing, that's all. Well, anyway, before he leaves tonight, we ought to do something really special. You know, something he can remember. How about burning down the school? Come on, Mike, be serious. Let's do something really groovy for him. Look, I just don't feel like doing anything for the guy. He's been so moody lately. It's great. Hi, Mike. How you doing? I got him to come. Kenny, you finished packing yet? Yeah. Hey, you know who's gonna really miss you? Who? Rebecca Stanton. Come on. No, no kidding. That's what she told Mike at school last week. Did you ever make out with her? Of course not. She's just a kid. <gasps> hey, Kenny, when are you leaving? Six o'clock. Is it okay if we come down to the airport and see you off? Sure, that'd be great. Hey, Kenny? Hey, how far is Buffalo from Silver Springs? It's a lot closer than it is from here. Are we still going to meet there like we planned? Sure, if my grandmother lets me go. Why wouldn't she? Ah, uh, grandmothers are like that. They're old. Not mine. She just got back from Florida. Oh, hi. Is Rebecca home? Well, do you know where she is? Mm-mm. Do you know when she'll be back? Nope. Is your mother home? Could I speak to her, please? She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Listen, can you give Rebecca a message for me? Um, tell her Kenny. That's me. OK, I'm leaving at 6 o'clock. Wait, 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 wait. It's United Airlines. Flight 602. OK, now have you got it? OK, can you remember that? Sure. Listen, maybe you better write it down. I can't write. <laughs> That's yours. Hey, Dad, I've been thinking. Yeah? No, I, I thought it over last night. Are you sure I can't go to Chicago with you? You can. I'll be there less than a week. Then I'll be off again someplace else. I'd be in the way, huh? No, it's not a question of being in the way. It's not the right kind of life for a young boy traveling all around the country. I don't care. I just want to go with you. This is a big break for me, Kenny. I'm not going to get many more at my age. And I got to make the most of it. Understand? This company really believes in me, and if I can convince them of my worth, they'll probably set me up in one of their regional offices. And I can stay put for once in my life. We can buy a home like the one you saw down at the lake, remember? Well, how long is it going to take? Two years. Yeah, we'll have a place of our own. We can sit on the front porch and fish. Well, by then you'll probably have a girl over, like double dating. Sound good to you? Yeah, sounds great. Two years, you can do that standing on your head, right? Right. Hey, we got to rush. we got to catch that plane. Hey, Kenny! Kenny! 
Wait up! Hi, Hello, guys. Hey, I didn't think we were gonna find you guys. Why, it's great you came here. There down. were so many people back there in the lobby. Wow. Thanks for coming. How are you, Mr. Leeds? Fine. How are you, boys? Well, I'm fine. Thanks. I'm fine, thanks. Hey, I want to take your picture before I forget. Oh, you get in with Ken and Mike, and I'll take one of you boys. You ready? Can you smile? Thanks a lot, Mr. Leeds. You're welcome. Hey, Kenny, I'll send you the pictures when I get them done. Okay, that'll be great. Yeah, if they come out. Shut up. Hey, uh, I got your box of chocolates to remember me by. Oh, thanks. Kenny. Aren't you gonna open them? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I better wait till I get on the plane, in case they explode or something. Come on, Kenny. Hey, listen, guys, thanks for coming down, and don't forget to write me about Silver Springs. Hey, don't forget to write us either. Okay, I won't. Let's hear from you now. Okay, bye. Hey, take it easy, Kenny. Flight 602 is now in the final boarding stages at gate 12. Hey, Kenny. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, uh, I'm really sorry about the other day, you know, on the bikes and everything. Well, I'm sorry, too. How hard feelings are Still friends? Yeah, sure. See you later. First chance I get off flight and spend a couple days with you very much. My secretary, Miss Williams, asked me to say goodbye for her. She wanted to come down herself, but, you know, she couldn't get away from the office. She's very fond of you. You like her, don't you? Oh, I don't know, Dad. I, I never thought about it. You don't dislike her? No, I, I hardly know her. Kenny, how would Final you feel about... Final call for flight 602. Departing at gate 12. I'd better go. Well, take care of yourself, son. Kenny? A little... Something extra for your trip. Thanks, Dad. Tommy and Mike, I got your letter this morning. It sure sounds like you guys are having a great time without me. Well, I've been having a great time, too. My grandparents are really a lot of fun. I was surprised to hear you went to the carnival with Alvin Gorn. If I remember right, we didn't like him too much when I was home. I met a bunch of great guys. We play baseball in the park every afternoon. My team is the Astros. They want to make me captain of the team, but I got too many other things to do. Sitting there. They've got a big lake here, and I go sailing every weekend. The kids here are much friendlier than they are back home. And you ought to see the high school I'll be going to next semester. It's as big as a college. Yeah? Oh, can I have a coat, please? No, just for um, Large.
Thanks. Dear Tommy and Mike, I got your letter yesterday, but I was too busy to answer right away. The new girls you said you met sound nice. I feel like those young teeny bopper types. Oh, hi, Joe. Hi. How's it going? Give me something cold and wet, will you? How about a Coke? Anything, Frankie, as long as it's got ice in it. I've been hanging around with a couple of older guys, Frankie and Joe. Frankie's about... Twenty-one. And Joe... Well, is at least twenty-three. Well, Frankie's a manager at Myers Drugstore, and Joe... Um, smokes too much. There. Well, what do you say, Frankie, about Saturday, huh? I don't know. It's different with you guys. Rosie and I are going steady now. Ah, what are you talking about? Nick goes steady, too. It doesn't stop him having a little fun on the side, does it? Anyway, going to Niagara Falls is different. It's, uh, it's not like cheating. But why Niagara? Because that's where they are, man. We just shoot across the border, and there we are. I tell you, Frankie, you've never seen a place like this before in your life. They got the most beautiful broads, the price is right, and there's no chance of catching. You, uh, writing a book, kid? Um, no, just a letter. I, I was writing a letter. Uh-huh, sure. Joe and Frankie and me go over to Niagara Falls, Canada a lot. Well, there's this house there called Rosie's with the most beautiful broads. And the price is right, if you know what I mean. We're going over to Rosie's again tonight. About Silver Springs, I'm still working on it. You said hi. Yeah, come on, give me the phone. It's my friends from back home. Hello? Hello, Mike, is that you? Yeah, we wanted to surprise you. Boy, you sure did. Well, I can hear you as plain as if you were here in Buffalo. We are here in Buffalo. What? Yeah, we're downtown at the Ford Hotel, right across from the bus depot. Let me talk to him. Hey, Kenny, listen, you wouldn't believe this place. We got a giant suite, we got a shower inside the bathtub, we got everything. Oh, it sounds fantastic. We just ordered room service. Yeah. And they told us that they give us clean sheets every morning on the beds. What are you guys doing here? What are we doing here? Are you kidding? <laughs> we came to see you. Great. Hey, listen, we can all go to Silver Springs together. Oh, nuts to Silver Springs. We want to go to Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls? Canada. You know Niagara Falls, Canada? What for? <laughs> he says, what for? Kenny, we want to go to that place you told us about. You know, Rosie's. Yeah, our parents think we're down at Silver Springs. Yeah, they should only know, huh, Kenny? How soon can you make it down to the hotel? Yeah, how soon, Kenny? Kenny, you there? Hey, Kenny. I have to catch a bus. Well, catch it and come on. Let's get going. Um, it, it takes about 20 minutes. You have to finish the lawn first. I have to mow the lawn. Mow the lawn? We come all the way up here and you have to mow the lawn? Look, we're in room 507. That's on the fifth floor. Look, we're gonna sit right here and wait for you, so hurry up. Okay. Okay, bye. Mow the lawn. Floor, 
You did say five. Oh. Oh, five oh seven? That way. What's the matter? Don't you find me attractive? I came here to discuss your medical history, Miss Hane. Let's make our own history, Doctor. Kenny? Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Kenny. Kenny, come on in. Come Glad on. to what see you. I thought you'd on. never get here. Hey, this place is pretty snazzy, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. Hey, what do you see what we got? Come on. Champagne. Oh, very nice. Yeah, we've been saving it until you got here. Well, how'd you guys get it? <laughs> how'd we get it? <laughs> Listen, I called the waiter, you know? And so he came up, and we hid in the bathroom. It was great. We just laid the money on the bed, see? <laughs> and we left the shower going. There's all sorts of water. So Mike started yelling yeah, out look, at the look, I just yelled at him. I said, look, just put it on the table, because we left the money on the bed. Oh, it's fantastic. The guy actually left it. A toast to Rosie's. Well, come on. Oh, yeah, to, to Rosie's. Rosie's? Rosie's. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, great. Um, listen, you guys wait here, and I'll go downstairs. I'll be right back. What? Well, you have champagne, and I'll go down and um, get some caviar, because, well, that's what they always have with it. Let's go to Rosie's, kid. I gotta tell you guys something. What? What? Oh, we, uh, uh, we have to, uh, we gotta break the glass. Break the glass? Why? Well, you wanna do this right, and that's what you do. You break the glass for good luck. Okay. Come on, let's go. Mike, what'd you do that for? We're gonna get thrown out of here. Look, he said break the glass, so I broke the glass. Now, come on. It's your turn. I'm not gonna break the glass. That's dumb. Will you come on? I, I, I've got to break my glass. Come on, Kenny. For luck. Kenny, will you please hurry up? It's gonna be great, you guys, isn't it? Don't you know? Of course he doesn't. This is probably his first time with a girl. It is not. I just meant it's gonna be great the three of us being together and all. What's it like, Kitty? I mean, what kind of place is it? Well, it's, uh, it, it's, it's dark. Dark? They don't want you to see what you're doing. They don't? Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Haven't you ever been to one before? Oh, yeah, sure I have. Oh, yeah? Where? Back home. Where back home? Out past Pike's Bridge. By the lake? Yeah, by the lake. Which side, north or south? No, what is this, the third degree or something? Where? Come on, tell us. Well, I almost went into one once. Come on. I guess you guys know this trip's gonna be expensive. What are you talking about? We checked at the bus depot. It's less than a buck to Niagara. Well, that's not what I mean. It costs to get into Rosie's, you know? You mean like a cover charge? Well, sure. What do you think? They're going to let you in for free? That's how they make half their money, just charging you to get in. Look, how much is it going to cost? Well, how much do you guys have? I got about 15 bucks. Yeah, I got 10. Well, that's a problem. It costs at least $15 each for everything. Well, that sure changes things. You got an extra 10 bucks, didn't you? That's for pajamas. You don't need pajamas at Rosie's. Look, my mom gave me that money to buy some. But you don't need pajamas. Yes, I do. You don't need them. Oh, yes, he needs them. OK, I don't need pajamas. He doesn't need them. If it costs 15 bucks, how can you afford to go so many times? They give me a discount. What? A what? What do you mean, what? I've never heard of a discount in a place like that. Yeah. Hey, look, you guys asked me, and I, and I told you. I don't mean the girls, though. I mean at the door. Well, they dropped the cover charge for me because I'm such a regular customer. Oh. Do you think you can get us in for free, too? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Greyhound coach 63 for Rochester, Albany, and New York. Now boarding at platform six. All passengers aboard, please. 
Won't be long now, huh? That old boy, Kenny. <laughs> I gotta get something to read. Uh, you want anything? Nah. Hey, boy, it won't be long now before we get there, huh? Man, you know it. I can't wait till I get to Rosie's. Hey, what kind of girl are you gonna get? I don't know. Let me think about it. I like them slinky and slender. Slinky and slender? Yeah. I like them with red hair, too. In other words, you like a skinny redhead. I didn't say skinny. I said slender. To each his own. What kind do you like? Blonde. A nice little blonde. I like that one over there. You like them plump, huh? Plump? She's not plump. She's just not skinny, that's all. Greyhound coach number 21 for Cleveland and Chicago. Now boarding at platform three. You know, I don't even care if she's got green hair. Just as long as she's got everything else. Right. Hey, what'd your first girl look like? Huh? Well, you said this won't be your first. Who was? Oh, uh, nobody you know, Mike. Yeah, I know everybody you know. Do you know Jane Shane? No. See, you don't know everybody I know. Gray Line coach number 118 for Niagara Falls, now boarding at platform one. That's us. Rosie's here we come. Kenny, hey, these girls, they're really pretty, huh? Well, they're not, uh, beauties. Yeah, they're all right. Do you get your choice? Yeah, you have your pick. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm not worried or anything. I was just wondering. What if you get one that doesn't like to talk? Talk? You're not going there to talk. I mean, well, if you want to talk, call him on the phone. Well, well, if you do get one that doesn't like to talk, well, I mean, can you trade her in for another one? Well, I always like a girl that's a good conversationalist. Hey, look, Tommy. Don't get upset about it. If you really want to talk to the girls, all you got to do is say, let's talk. They'll talk to you. Yeah? What do you talk about? on Niagara, and it has all points of interest. See if you can find Rosie's. Come on, you guys. Hey! It says here that 40 million gallons of water go over the falls every minute. Yeah? What does that work out to in a month? Wow, this bridge is really high. It took nine seconds for my gum to hit the water. Two countries at the same time. Come here, you guys. The maid of the mist. What? 
Look! I heard about the Maid of the Mist back home. It goes right under the falls. Oh, you're crazy. It sank. No kidding. Right under the falls. Come on. Hey, we gotta go on that. What's going on? They're asking everybody questions. How come they're stopping us, Kenny? Oh, they always do. They just always do. They didn't stop us back at the U.S. Customs. Well, they don't care who's leaving, just who's coming in. Why? Why do I look like a royal mountie? Hello. Oh, hello. You're a citizen of what country? United States. And you? Me too. What's the purpose of your visit to Canada? We were looking we're for... We're just sightseeing. You're a citizen of what country? United States. How long do you plan to stay in Canada? Just today. Hello. Boy, that was scary. Just think, we're in a foreign country. Hey, let's go in the Maid of the Mist. We didn't come all the way up here to take a ride on some old waterlogged boat. Canadians don't look any different than anybody else. Well, which way to Rosie's? Listen. Yeah? Oh, it's that way. How far is it? Hey, don't you ever get tired of asking questions? You mad about something, Kenny? No, but you guys are acting like a bunch of sex fiends. Anyway, it's still early yet. Let's look around a while. There's a million things to do. Like what? Come on, I'll show you. this wax museum stuff. I want the real stuff now. There's still plenty to see, Mike.
We've been above the falls, below the falls, behind the falls. We've been everywhere in this town except roses. Well, look, we've eaten and we've rested. So can we please go now? Rested? I'm really bush after all that walking around. Why don't we just sit here and relax a while? I didn't come all the way up here to relax. Well, can I please finish my hot dog? Eat it on the way. Come on, will you? Tommy? Hold it. What's the matter? That's Randy Barrett. Who's Randy Barrett? She's in my biology class. She's got the biggest mouth in school. If she sees me, she'll tell my folks. They'll find out we were up here. shortcut and I got mixed up. Maybe I better take you guys the regular way. It's that way. I'm so tired. I'll be ready for bed by the time I get there. That's the idea, Tommy. This is it. Guys, this is Rosie's. What? This dirty old dump? But, Kenny, it's all boarded up. Oh. Oh, they must have raided the place. Raided? Yeah. Jeez, of all the rotten luck. Boy, when they raid a place, they really raid it. Look, Kenny, they even took the sign down. Well, that's great. Just great. Yeah. That, that's great. Yeah, we came all the way up here for absolutely nothing. Hey, there's always Silver Springs. Well, nuts to Silver Springs. Hey, what are you getting sore at me for? I didn't plan it or anything. This can't be the only one, can it? I mean, there must be other places around, you know? Yeah, sure, Kenny. There must be dozens. Is this the only one you know about? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Do you think we can find another? Well, sure, why not? Well, how? Do we ask somebody? Yeah, go ask him. Go ask a total stranger oh, yeah, something like that. Sure oh, you yeah. can. He looks no. like just like I would know. Just go on up and ask him. No, I can't. Yeah, come on. Go on. All right, all right, all right. Sir, sir, excuse me. Well, my my friends and me were new here in town. Like we um, well, we were wondering. Mm -hmm. Well, could you tell me where the nearest whorehouse is, please? Sure. You'll see this great big house in the corner. Oh, boy, really, thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Oh, really, 
really, thanks a million. That's really great. Hey, we got it. Boy, that was sure nice of him. Hey, come on, I know where it is. Boy, it's a lot more colorful than Rosie's. It's just a department store. I know it. That guy was putting me on. Guys, I know where one is. Come on, follow me. Hey, now, this is it. This doesn't look like one either. Yeah, how would you know? Wow, hope they look like that. Yeah, come on. Hey, wait. With the luck we've been having, why don't we just go in the middle of this and call it a day? I got a feeling our luck's changing. Come on. I'll tell you one thing. A bad day's a bad day. We're jinxed. like this inside? Well, not exactly. Of course not, Stoop. This is a bar. But any girl who works here is the same as a girl from Rosie's. Mm. How about that, huh? Yeah, she's neat. Don't you think she's a little too old for you guys? Not for me. tried that number. There's no answer. Can you think of any other place he might be? It's terribly important. Yeah, well. Hey, bartender. Uh, three beers. Uh, I'd rather have a Dr. Pepper. All right, let's see your identification. Oh, well, we didn't bring any with us. We're tourists, Americans. Well, now you must have some kind of identification, like a driver's license. Uh, no, we don't drive. OK, kids, you've had your fun. Shove off. We don't have to get rough about it. Just ask us to leave. Hey, leave. Oh, a big man. A nice way to treat friendly My neighbors. Course. Would you please try to locate him? Get him to leave a number where he can be reached. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Hey, baby, you're too good for this place. Why don't you come to the States with us, where people have some manners? What a put-down. Forget it. There must be dozens of bars around here. We'll find one. Don't order beer next time. Boys! Excuse me. Are you really going to the States? <laughs> we'll go anywhere you want. Do you want some company? Oh, we sure would. All right, would you wait here a minute? Uh, where are you going? I'm just going to make a telephone call. Coming right back? Right back. Wow, did you see that? God, she's beautiful. What a face. I knew he'd find one. I don't know, you guys. Look, it's all pretty easy to me. But that's how it is, Tommy. They just come up to you and say, excuse me. Yeah, but sure. she wants to go across the border with us. Mike. Yeah, so what? Well, if 
you ask me, I think she's a Russian. She's just using us to get her across the border. Did you ever see a Russian that looked like that? Does she talk like a Russian? You know what she's probably calling right now? Yeah, she's probably canceling another appointment. Thinks she'll make more off of us, huh? Mike, she's probably calling up her contact saying, look, I got three dum-dums to smuggle me across the border. No, she isn't. Kenny, listen, doesn't it seem kind of strange to you that she didn't invite us up to her room? You know, I'm ready. Should we go? Anywhere you want. Have you ever been to America before? No, I haven't. Since we're going to be traveling together, I think I should know your names. I'm Mike. I'm Kenny. He's Tommy. What's your name? Anna. That's a pretty name. What's your last name, Anna? Just Anna. Are you a Russian? No, I'm not a Russian. He has a weird sense of humor. He's just a kid. Something I ought to tell you. You may have trouble getting across with me. I told you so. Shut up. I don't have my passport with me. You don't need a passport. We don't have one. You're Americans. Well, Canadians go back and forth all the time. I'm not Canadian. I'm English. Look, just walk through. They won't ask for a passport. Hey, how come you're so worried? Well, if they stop us, they'll notice my accent and ask for my passport. Well, just don't say anything. If they ask you something, we'll talk for you. Well, that's what I thought. If we all go as a group, we could tell them you're deaf and dumb. Yeah. Or we could tell him she has laryngitis or something. Don't worry, we'll get you across. Just flash him a smile, they'll let you through. Well, I just thought I ought to tell you, because if I get caught, you may get into trouble. We may get into trouble. Let's stay here. Well, I'm not worried. I'm not either. Come on. smuggling someone across the border. I mean, I thought we came here to get a girl. Well, what does she look like? A giraffe? So what if we get her across? What then? Well, what do you think? We do her a favor and she does us three favors. No, she won't. A bad day's a bad day. We should have gone on the Maid of the Mist. If you mention Maid of the Mist one more time, I'm gonna belt you. Listen, if they ask her anything, it'll be where she's from, right? Yeah. So if she says someplace in the state, that's it. Well, what about her accent? Well, it's only one word. Let's find a city she can say without any accent. Um, how about Cincinnati? That's even hard for an American to say. Why don't you try Indianapolis? Come on, Mike, this is serious. Try saying Boston. Boston? Hey, that's pretty good. Well, even Bostonians sound funny. What if they ask me something else? Don't say anything. We'll answer all the questions. Come on. Boston. 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 See what it says? Imprisonment. Shut up. Don't worry. If he asks you what you're doing in Canada, I'll say you're my sister on a vacation. Yes, that's good. Where were you born, please? Boston, Ohio. Boston, Ohio. I mean, I was born in Ohio, and I live in Boston. 
Where were you born? Ohio. What was your purpose for visiting Canada? We just wanted to see what it was like. Bring anything back with you? Oh, no, of course not. Like what? That's all, thanks. Hurry up, Anna. Where were you born, ma'am? Boston. You're in Canada on business or pleasure? My sister and I were here seeing the sights. We saw the observation tower and, and Horseshoe Falls and, and three wax museums. Where were you born? Boston. Okay. I appreciate this. You were just fantastic. Thank you. Well, you're good, too. <laughs> hey, Kenny. What? Come here a second. Oh, excuse us. What's the matter? We have to talk and plan our strategy. What strategy? The strategy. Now it's time to ask her for our favor. Now, look, first we got to get a room, right? What's the matter with the grass over there? I mean, it's handy and convenient. One, two, three, you're finished. Well, what's the matter with you? She's different. I've never met anyone like her before. There's something about her that's... I don't know. She's got something special. Well, I know she does. That's why we have to plan it out carefully. Wait a minute. We got a perfectly good room back in Buffalo. What if she doesn't want to go to Buffalo? Well, she came this far, didn't she? She'll just go a little farther. You just leave it to me, Kenny boy. I'll talk her into it. Bye, boys. Thanks for everything. What happened? What'd you say to her, Tom? Where'd she go? You blew it, didn't you? Honest, I didn't do anything. I just asked her if she knew how many gallons of water went over the falls every minute, and she said she had to go, just like that. Ugh. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the bus station. You leaving? Why don't you stay around here for a little while first? Where are you going, anyway? Buffalo. Buffalo? Hey, that's where Kenny lives. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we're going there right now. We can all go together, all right? I mean... We taking you this far, we might as well take you the rest of the way. Fine. The bus depot's right over there. Next bus leaves in an hour. Isn't there any other way to go to Buffalo? Gee, I don't think so. Hey, well, that means we can go on the Maid of the Mist. Yeah, why not? Anna, you want to go? Hey, come on. It'll be fun. Boys, I'm really tired. Why don't you go ahead? Well, there's no sense in you staying here all alone. Why don't you come with us? Yeah, you might get in trouble if you stay here alone. I'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Really, come with us. We'll show you a good time. Well, haven't we done all right so far? Yes, you have. Well? Want to come? Love in the beginning Around the corner straight ahead Love is where you find it Summer skies and laughing eyes And I think I'm in love again Love, that is the answer To all the questions in your eyes
Do you want another? No, I've had quite enough, thank you. Are you sure? Positive. I'll get fat. All right, but if you want anything, just say. OK. Money's no object. Well, that's what my father said. When you're out with a girl, money's no object. Do you have a girl? You mean like going steady or something? No. Does that sound funny? What? Mine not having a girl. No. You obviously like to play the field. Well, don't you? No. Well, I'd like to have a steady girl, but it's kind of hard in my case. Why is that? Well, my dad and I are always traveling around. And I never stay put long enough to get serious with anyone. What does he do? He's a textile salesman. Where is he now? I think he's in Chicago with his secretary. That sounds like you resent her. Resent her? No. Why, I hardly know her, as a matter of fact. Does he always travel with her? Yeah, lately. Sounds serious. I think he's going to marry her. What does that do to you? Why, I think it's fine if she makes him happy. Well, marriage is great for some people. What's the matter? Nothing. Have you ever been married? What makes you think I'm not now? Oh, well, you're not wearing a ring. Well, have you ever been married or anything? What do you mean by anything? <laughs> you know, you're real easy to talk to. I never met a girl I, I could just sit down and talk to like I can with you. Do you know what time it is? You're really in a hurry to get to Buffalo, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Come on, the bus is ready to go. So my buddy had this cabin down by the lake, and his old man had left him the keys to the speedboat. Oh, it was a real bomb. I, I mean, it really ripped. It's the fastest thing you've ever seen. It's got a 75-horse Merc on it. We got Tommy up on skis for the first time. This is the funniest thing you've ever seen. Right, Tommy? You should have seen this thing. We really took off to get him up on the ski. And I'd never we been on going skis so fast before. We were doing about 50 miles an hour. And I stand up. <laughs> you should have seen this guy. We were racing by buoys and everything. He didn't even the know how to steer. Stuck. He was going right for the buoy. The throttle stuck and I couldn't stop scary. it. He's back there yelling and screaming. He doesn't know what to do. So I yell at Kenny. I said, look, get in the back and try to stop this thing. So we get back there and he's pulling wires off the engine. And he can't do anything. He didn't even slow it. Oh, it was really something else. Hey, Tommy, I think we can borrow that boat again. Swell. Yeah, Kevin said he and his dad are going to take the exact same cabin up there. I can't wait till we get up there. I'm going to try a single ski this time. Look, it's easy. We'll just say, come on, let's go up to the room. She expects that. That's too pushy. Too pushy? We could have been arrested by the FBI for smuggling her over here. Now you don't want to take her up to the well, room. We might get in trouble. Well, I'm going to ask her. Well, then ask her. I still can't reach you. Well, is there anything we can do? No, you've done enough already. Thank you. Kenny. Tommy. Mike. I really appreciate everything you've done. Goodbye. Anna. Uh, why don't you come up and wait in our room? We live right across the street at the Ford Hotel, see? It's very nice of you, but I've been in enough trouble already. We don't mind. Really, we don't. Um, we don't mind if she comes up to the hotel, do we? I don't mind. And we got her own phone, too.
You got the key, Tommy? Oh, yeah. It's kind of small. No, I think it's rather charming. Yeah. Well, here we are. Um, here's the phone if you want to use it, Anne. Oh, I'd love to. Thank you. Yes, operator. I'd like 474-4039, please. Hello? This is Miss Sutton again. Could you tell Mr. Heller that I'm now at the Ford Hotel? It's room 507. Room 507. He did? Oh. Well, thank you very much. That was the answering service. He just called in a few minutes ago probably means that he won't call back for several hours. See, that, that's too bad. Oh, I'm so tired. I didn't sleep last night. Why don't you lie down for a while? I'd love to. Uh, why don't you get under the covers? You'd be a lot more comfortable. I think I'll get my clothes wrinkled if I do. Why don't you take them off, then? All right. Do you mind? I don't mind. Be our guest. OK, thank you. I I'll fix this for you. How's that? Beautiful, thank you. I need a Coke. I think we could use a Coke, too. Come on, Mike. Man, did you see that? She's coming right out of her clothes. Yeah. I just can't believe it. Oh, she's got class. She hasn't even asked us for any money yet. Hey, maybe she won't charge us. I think she kind of likes us. Yeah, we got to pay her something. I wonder how much she's going to want, though. About 10? I don't know. Well, look, she can't ask us for any more than we got, right? Yeah, that's right. I got 20. So? I got to save 10. Why? Oh, no, you're not going to start with those pajamas again. Uh, you going to put it in your shoe? Yeah, why not? You're going to bed with your shoes on? first. Let's not talk about that now, okay? She's in there getting undressed. He doesn't want to talk about it. What's the matter with you, Tommy? Well, I just want to have my coke first, okay? A little quick energy. <laughs> well, how are we going to decide? Odd finger. Great. Yeah. Okay, odd man goes first, right? Okay. Come on, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Hey, come on, no holding. All together, Look. right? One, two. He could use a little quick energy, too, huh? <laughs> Come on. Okay, all together. Ready? One, two, 
Three. Ah. Uh, so wait. Right. Well, well, guys, be a while. Yeah. Taking a long time, isn't he? Isn't he? Huh? Taking a long time? What are you thinking about? Just thinking about Colonel. Your dog? What are you thinking about him for? Remember that time Mrs. Cassidy borrowed that silly looking poodle of hers? Panther? Yeah. Well, they put them both out in the backyard to play. By themselves, together. I wasn't supposed to. But I watched them from my bedroom window. God, it was horrible, Kenny. Colonel howled and howled. Dad had to come out and turn a hose on him. What a stupid thing to remember. People aren't like dogs. Of course not. Come on, you know they're not. Yeah. time. We were getting worried about you. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. What are you sore about? Who's sore? How was it, Mike? Come on, tell us about it. Look, there's nothing to tell. H how'd you get started? What'd you say first? Hey, where are you going? Down the coffee shop. Mike, does she talk a lot? What's with him? Beats me. I thought you were supposed to be happy afterwards. I mean, I always am. Call it. Heads. Tails. Bad day is a bad day.
Anna. Anna. Anna, it's Tommy. Tommy? What is it? Oh, look, Anna. I know you do this kind of thing for a living. And I'll give you all the money I got. Just do me one favor, please. Just tell Mike and Kenny that, that I was really terrific and, and we had a really great time. And, and I'll just sit here and that's gonna be it. And when the time's up and, and you think I've been in here long enough, well, well, just tell me and then I'll go out. And no one will know what really happened because... See, I made myself a promise that I wouldn't do this until I was married. But if I told Mike and Kenny that, they'd laugh at me. They'd just laugh at me, that's all. Is that all right with you? Eleven dollars and seventeen cents. And it's all yours. You just promised to tell the guys I was great. I see. What's the matter? Tell me, who's coming in next? Well, Kenny. Hmm. Hey, Anna. You won't tell him about me, will you? No. Thanks a lot, Anna. I sure appreciate this. Tommy? Yeah? The money isn't necessary. Oh, Anna, you're terrific. Yeah, that's the word for me, terrific. Hey, thanks, Anna. You're the greatest. She's all yours. Where are you going? Down the coffee shop. I really worked up an appetite. What is it with you guys? Will you just tell me? What's to tell? What happened? She was the greatest. <laughs> what did you do? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Michael, I've been trying to get you. I left word at the motel that I couldn't make it. Didn't they tell you? Yes, I got the message, but there wasn't any explanation. What the hell are you doing down here? What? I said, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here to see you, of course. Listen, there's something I've got to tell you. Don't let's talk on the phone. Why didn't you pick me up now? And what do I tell my wife? She's sitting in the other room. Well, tell her anything. What have you been telling her all these months, anyway? I don't understand. It's over, Anna. I'm sorry. What do you mean?
it's over. Goodbye. Michael. Michael? It's Kenny. Can I come in? No, go away. I'm sorry, Aaron. Why should you be sorry? I was listening at the door when you were on the phone. Oh, it's not important. It's just another chapter in Anna's life. Why wouldn't he see you? It's not important. Do you love him? What are you going to do now? Go back to Canada? I guess so. You might have some trouble getting across the border. I'd better go with you. After you've had your turn with me, of course. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm leaving. And I'd appreciate it if you'd get out of this room so I can get dressed. Can I ask you something, please? What? Well, if you hadn't gotten that phone call just now, I mean, if you weren't upset, would you still? What is it? Well, did I do something wrong? Please tell me. It's really important, I know. I don't think I understand. Why is it okay with Mike and Tommy and not with me? What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. There he is. I'm not the same as other guys. Well, like Mike. He's had a lot of girls. To be real honest, I never even had one. This is always happening. What is? This. Like about a year ago, when I took out Sheila Dixon. Jill is a school. What? Every guy in my class is, is um, taking her out for one time or another. And, and everybody knows. You know. And so, so I, I took her out. And she wouldn't let me. It's just like now. Kenny! Please, sit down. Sheila sounds like a girl with a lot of problems. What happened that night, I'm sure, had more to do with her than to do with you. Well, how could that be? All the other guys that took her out had a great time with her. But how do you know they had a great time? They said so. Mm. I think you'll find young men your age tend to exaggerate when it comes to their experiences with women. Maybe so. At least they had something to exaggerate about. I just want you to tell me, what is it about me the girls don't like? Is it the way I look? Oh, no, Kenny. Then, then what is it? You know, in many ways, you and I are alike. We have no confidence in ourselves. If anyone should have confidence in themselves, it's you. You're beautiful. <laughs> Evidently, not everyone thinks so. Come on, forget about him. You could have a dozen guys if you wanted. I don't want a dozen. Well, I'm always available. You're very sweet, Kenny. 
I wouldn't worry about your lack of experience. The time hasn't been right yet, that's all. When will it be right? Oh, Kenny. You know, you and I do have the same problems. We feel that we're getting older and life's passing us by. You just haven't met the right guy yet. Now who's giving advice? All right. What are you guys going to do now? Nelica's not talking. Are you going to stay in Buffalo for a while or what? We were talking about going to Silver Springs tomorrow. Why? Well, I was just wondering, that's all. Listen, Anna's getting dressed, so you can have your room back in a few minutes. Where's she going? Oh, back to Canada. She say anything about me? No, no. Hey, maybe we can go to the movies or something. Hmm. Well, I can't. I'm taking Anna back to the border. Why? Well, she might have some trouble getting across. She won't have any trouble. Besides, you'll be up half the night. I already told her I would. Hey, you're still coming to Silver Springs, aren't you? Well, sure. We'll talk about it tomorrow. But we're leaving tomorrow. I, I still have to work it out with my grandmother. Kenny, I thought it was all set. Oh, I'm sure she'll let me go. I'll see you tomorrow, OK? Yeah. Yeah. You know something? I don't think you made it with her. Me neither. I love you, Anna. I really do. It will pass. I don't want it to. It will. Every young man must have his fill of conquests before he really loves. And I think you'll find I make a far better conquest than I do a love. I don't understand. You don't have to understand. It'll happen anyway. I guess you'll be going back to that bar now. No, Kenny, I'm not going back there. I never worked in that bar. I was just using the telephone. And you assumed I belonged there. But Mike and Tommy, they said that... But I told you. Young men tend to exaggerate. But if you're not... You're not from that... 
bar. I mean, why, why, why did you let me? Anna?